Okay, for this next project, what you will be doing is picking a day in history and finding information on it, a uh, historical event or just something important or interesting that happened on that day that you chose. This will actually be used on Junior Falcon News because every day we are going to have a This Day in History and it's going to be created by our digital media students. So what you will do to start is you will open up this file post in Google Classroom and you will pick a day find three events that happened on that date. So to claim your day on the calendar, you will type your name on the day that you choose to research. Then what you'll do is go into this information sheet and begin finding some information. So let me just show you this file here. It starts with January. The ones that are not blacked out, those are the dates that you can pick. So let's say that you're looking at February 12th and you want to do that day to find some information on it. So what you would do is type in your name there. You will see as you type in your name, the other students who are filling this out, their names will pop up. Do not take one that a student has already claimed. With that said, do not delete anyone else's name. I will be able to see the edit history and who did that. So keep it only one student per date on that. This will actually go into next school year too. So, you know, when we start getting into next school year here, we'll have um, information created by you to do this day in history on Junior Falcon News. So let me just jump back into this file because this is where you're going to get your information. Right here, um, I have basically all the, the websites that you can use to find your information and do some research. Think about it, you know, find something that's interesting to you. What's interesting to you will probably be interesting to other people. Think of topics like you could do this day in sports history, this day in entertainment history or just historical events in general. I have some links here to help you out because those links are educational links that already give you some information. So uh, I'm just going to go to history.com here, just show you how this website looks. It shows this day in history, June 13th here, and it gives different things to choose from. So again, you pick something that is interesting to you, and then that's what you can go ahead and include in your file over here. Uh, C-SPAN is also a great source of information as well. So on here, their calendar looks a little bit different. You select your month, and then from there, it will actually have each day already on here for you. And what's cool is it actually has a little video to go with it. So it gives you a little bit of background information on that. Like uh, May 27th, 1937, the Golden Gate Bridge open and two video clips just to tell you a little bit about that. So this is a great website as well. Let me head back here, thepeopleshistory.com. Again, this is organized a little bit differently. What it does is it breaks things down into the next seven days. Here's where it has your months. So that's how you can go in and find information that way. Apple releases iPad. It doesn't give a lot of information. So what you might want to do is go out on Google, get a little bit more information about that so that you don't just have Apple releases iPad. You want to have, a, you know, two or three sentences that really explain a little bit about your event. And again, pick something that is interesting to you. Okay, so what you would do is you, on this file here on slide three, the date that you chose. So type month and date below in the box. So let's say I'm doing April 3rd. Then I would type in here just April 3rd. And then in the next slide, this is where I would say my year because, again, we're coming up with different events. So if I go back here to my site... On April 3rd, 2010, Apple releases the iPad. And again, you would want some more information about that. Um, you know, maybe what the specs were to the iPad then, because that was 11 years ago. It'd be kind of cool to see like a, a then and now. And then on the next slide, what you would do is insert some pictures that represent that. So we can use that on news and that will actually come up next to the announcement of this day in history. And then again, what you would want to do event two, it's going to be the same day. You would go ahead and maybe find another year. So if I go back to this website here, history.com. And I look for, let's say, April 3rd. We'll find something else that seems kind of interesting here. Again, history.com gives a lot, maybe a little bit too much information. You can summarize that and break that down a little bit. 
1996. So this is a crime fact. The Unabomber was arrested. So you could give a little bit of information about that. 1996. Okay. U.S. Secretary of Commerce, Ron Brown, killed in a plane crash. Again, find something that seems interesting to you. Scroll through, you know, read about these. Don't just pick the first thing that you find. Again, what you're going to be doing is finding three different events, different years, but the same date. You lock into that date whenever you choose it back here on that calendar. Again, this is a quick little assignment. It's a bit different, um, but again, we will be using this on Junior Falcon News, so this is your way of contributing to that. And I hope you find some cool facts.